What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back, bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to pick off where we left off, as we've absolutely pounded the hell out of the Prussians, we're starting to advance into the Italian Peninsula, and the Italians have uh, are, have attacked one of our leading stacks that have been invading northern Italy. Great opportunity for us to beat their armies on the field before we lay siege to Venice. Apparently, the odds aren't good, even though, I mean, granted they've got some elite infantry and they've got some a bit of decent artillery, we just completely outclass them. So let's crack on. Hopefully, yeah, we can lay siege to Venice and then the armies that are following through the gap in the valleys behind. They can head south and west, because we do have those forces in Naples that can, that can attack Rome, but they've also got these Spanish stacks running around uh, the southern part of Italy causing some trouble, because Naples couldn't go around hoovering up the, uh, the remaining the remaining um, Italian stacks. But let's take all these guys, because this could be quite fun. So, I want to make... Okay, so I want to defend... I want to defend the town centre, the town hall, that'd be fun. So I want to put some... Ooh. So I want to put a light infantry unit inside here. Um, I would put a light infantry unit inside here, but I think it would become subject to their attacks. So I think I'm actually going to run light infantry unit into this building. In here will be the core of my elite infantry. So I'll have a unit out here to fire. Well, actually, if I stack up two units here. So... I'd like to put two units in here, if possible, to absolutely ring the fort, ring the building with guns, and then probably have a unit here to fire onto any troops that try to charge in. And similar over here, can't garrison the church, unfortunately. So in terms of how it is, let's let's dot these about a bit because the fluid section, the fluid position of the map might cause problems. But I'm going to put one battery to the right. And then another battery on the left. No, oh, this is a very bad position for artillery, actually. So it can look like my artillery concentration is going to be on the right. So let's line them all up. Let's be a bit smart on that. Let's make sure they actually a pointing the right way and b are positioned such that they will not kill each other. Group. Good. So then you can have some infantry to guard you, which I will redeploy. I probably want some line infantry here. And probably you know, here to protect this flank. Well, it means to support, give some support to this light infantry unit. Then let's put one unit of cavalry out here. So I'll just put them both out here. It's a wide open plane. It can provide lots of support. And lots of freedom of manoeuvre for my artillery. Let's get my general here. Probably bring my artillery a bit. Yeah, particularly this set of guns. Bring them inwards, maybe in here. Nope, only one unit can garrison, so... Let's set these guys up in a position to to control the town square. Let's put you into here. You are very much in the uh, in, in exposed for now. So let's get this back onto quick climb. Oh wow, you're joking! That's where the reinforcements coming in. Oh god, and there's some from okay. You are going to get that unit of howitzers, no problem. Should have deployed some of my cavalry to intercept. My cavalry will beat their cavalry. I want these guys to deploy to defeat the follow on.
Yeah, see, so they've managed to get my artillery to route. My general, for some reason, stayed there rather than actually charging in. Yeah, he won't be in difficulty for a minute for the moment. Let's advance up my line, to line infantry. Because they're looking... job they've not gone for my guns. Castle Cavalry hit that unit of Royal Crossier Guards. You go straight into that cavalry. You guys spin the hell around. You charge into that cavalry just to slow them down. My general spending so much time up there. You reorientate your fire onto that regiment of line. Uh, they shown up just as an enemy light horse has shown up. Let's get my line infantry guards into this combat. Get some of my infantry out of it to provide fire onto those guys. So we've got some more. Oh, that's the cavalry routing from the rear. Spread these guys out a bit more. Artillery concentrating in the centre, although to be fair, you're probably going to be. They're probably going to try and charge this unit of militia, this unit of um, uh, marines. Again, these units at point blank range should be fairly devastating. Yep. Good. General's bodyguards, some are sensible. Where's that unit of line? Let's deploy my content on Marines here. Let's advance my left flank, although they're mighty exposed. I've not been optimizing any of my artillery. First battle of recording session, I'm, that's going to be my excuse, I'm sticking to it. Everyone gunned on that unit. Desperately looking for any spare units. Household cavalry, let's get you get you ready to commit. Let's group these guys together. Let's keep them in reserve, my grenadiers, my good more my heavy cavalry. So I think I'll throw them in. Shots are doing absolute business. This is a really ragged battle. If I could knock out those marines, I'd be a lot happier. Those grenadiers, sorry. around and fire onto those guys. It's 
to be honest, I might have to spin these guys around here. It's infantry are routing, but they're running, walking right into my guns. So every single gun in their dog is on them. Good, move up, move up, move up. It's probably why I'm winning the infantry combat, it's because they're shooting their own infantry in their rear. This stack's going to be pretty denatured by the time. So that's that. Where's their, their house as it's doing this damage? Was a mine that's just missing. Good, we've knocked out an enemy general. Okay, who's that? You hit the rifleman scouts, you, 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 marines, relocate. Get over here, because these guys are about to be annihilated, so charge them. That's the only way to stop them from being shot in the backside by these guys. Let's get over here. General's bodyguards. Charles a Republican Guard, because you're one of the only chances they'll have to actually get a bit of respite. It could well cause the death of my general, but can't leave a unit like this uh, free to, to run rampant. Okay, now get him out of the way. Foot guards on the cavalry routing, but that is completely understandable. There's quick climb dropping in somewhere, but I don't know where from, because these are foot artillery back here. Line infantry, sorry, unless there's a man, there's a set of guns manned somewhere. Can't see it on the map. Ah, my general's dead. Chase down that line infantry while everyone else gets in position. Pull my infantry back. Let's get my household, household cavalry to hold the line. Or oh, to be honest, it's just actually, you know, all of you get the hell out of there. Artillery. Relocate okay. you. Quick line. Hit that unit of line. Hit their regiment of foot just to wipe them out, then go after the Republican Guard. Two, one. On, chop them down, good. Chase down that infantry. God, see, it's quick line coming in from somewhere. I think it is. There's some bugged artillery back here somewhere, because. Those guns aren't being manned. Yeah, they are doing. It's line infantry doing firing scattered volleys. I 
they're back here. And then these guys just firing. Oh. See, they're going to chase after... Is it them? Are they bugged and they're just firing... Firing guns as they walk along. Some over there are doing it too. See, there's another unit. Yeah, they're doing it too. This howitzer foot unit... They got they're reloading cannons and stuff, but they're just dropping quicklime on everyone. How peculiar. It's like if I just play Huh. That's very strange. That's really strange, that's an absolute crap battle on my <laughs> Yeah. I'm straight back from work, hop on the computer, start doing some recording, fancy playing some games. Yeah, not very good. Remaining only 900 men. Yeah, well they're they're almost a, they're pretty much a spent force for a couple of turns. So it looks like I'm going to have to rely on. Well, I have scattered all the Spanish armies to the to the various parts of the world. Oh wow, that's another. Okay, based on my last performance, uh, fall back. So let's regroup a bit, figure out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> but yes, that was a pretty terrible uh, terrible battle on my part. Oh, there you go, that's some, some of the uh, marauding Spanish troops. Are they causing some bother? There is unused land suitable for plantations How in this bad region. plantations, yep. Okay, well, let's just run into you and just do a quick... Glorious Simple victory. battle. Ready for order. And here in the Middle East, let's send these guys. Well, I am picking everyone. Um, up here to Ardabil and Azerbaijan, because they are held by pirates. Ready and waiting order. To be honest, I'm more than happy just to let Persians run around raiding and raiding and raiding. Uh, my focus is elsewhere at the minute. Okay, so let's take the Zagreb garrison and go hit Hermino Rios. Just to wipe them up, because they're pretty safe now. And let's send them to go hit Celio Cruz. Good. Let's get them to replenish. And then you need to replenish like hell. Fortunately, the only thing you need, Norbert. Norbert Jackson. Brilliant. Let's get you guys to replenish somewhere safe. Immediately. And let's bring in Nathaniel Winthrop, who doesn't need replenishment. I saw 19. Thought. Prepare Hit Venice, wall. but Venice has such a puny garrison that I'm just going to take it. And they don't absolutely hate me, probably because they don't have a university. Sir. And this army that fled... You may find yourself actually here, I think. Although you can't. Oh, you can get to Central Italy by that way. In which case, then, let's pay, take. So we, a couple of. Well, there's one Spanish guy, Spanish unit of sharpshooters here. There's a couple of units of light infantry and a couple of units of cavalry. If I send that. Yeah, that sorted them out. Undefeated. Ultimately, let's send them down here as well. Because I control this straight, I can get over there pretty simply. Good. Yes. Can I build? I can build the church school. Good. We're going to start converting Italy from the south and upwards. Good, good, good. This is not going to be a fun nut to crack. <laughs> Your humble servant. So you're going to be you're going to move up to Marseille to secure that, uh, replenish it. Still converting. 
At the ready. So these guys are going to hold. Hold and replenish. Because preferably I'd like to knock out... I'd like to knock out the, uh, the, the Italians first before moving on the north. God, you are knackered. You need... Oh, you were captured last time. Last turn, sorry. So let's do a bit of shopkeeping here. Same with you. Okay, so why don't I try diplomacy? Prussia. Why don't we make peace? Good. So now you're done. Strikes, people blockaded. We're at peace for now, just to get them away. But we will, we will finish them off. Like we will land on Corsica. And we will ensure that the evil does not spread. Yeah, my general died. Egypt's going to have some quite nice military recruitment buildings. Let's do some more infrastructure work. Batman gets an Iron Master's works. Serbia's still upgrading. Oh yes, and you're on your way up yes. to Luau. Rats in a cave. Maintain siege. So it could be fun to actually attack. France is turning this place to the Galician rebels Catholic. Huh. See, I'm trying to turn you guys Protestant. There's the Russians, the Poles are back. Poles are back in town with the Marines and few Polish Fusiliers. And lots of lovely traits for all my generals, and Venice has been captured. So let's take this yes, army. Let's bring you down here. So we don't get isolated, and then let's bring... Ah, where were you heading? Oh yes, you're heading towards the Ottomans. Ready to continue that fight, because they do only have a handful of territories, or well, these three, actually. Uh, but let's finish off... Well, first we want, to, we want to effectively have a mighty battle to end all battles against the Genoans. And unfortunately, it looks like they're going to hold... I'd like to have a, a bridge fight, but it looks like if I move in there, they will intercept me and I'll have to attack across them, unless I... Effectively, just have a load of artillery or navy. Yeah, France still recruiting. Oh yes, don't need you anymore, do I? Effort, where are you? Destroy. There we go. Okay. So I want you to come down. I want this army to attack the city with this army in in uh, in in support, but I need a bit. I need a few more. I need a bit of a bit of recruiting to fix that. And let's do a bit of fixing here, actually. Cool. Let's hit enter and see what happens. Holy moly! I did not realise I was doing that with you. But their city is. Their army is rubbishly depleted, and I can destroy lots of... Well, I was about to immediately go, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. Well, actually, the answer is yes, 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 yes. I am going to do that. I would have preferred that army behind to support them, but I didn't, I didn't want to give them a turn to reorientate their army in port. Then that also means I've got three stacks to the west to commit to the Genoan mighty battle. Why are you dodging for bullets? Uh, one theory. Let's see. What, well, yeah, one theory is that. Well, it was on. A, if you've ever seen a show called QI, uh, the theory is that what he what he said was, which I think is much more poetic, but probably untrue because it's so much more poetic. Is that this U.S. general said they couldn't hit an elephant at this dist, 
and well yeah as you can imagine he got shot before he could finish the sentence so let's do group let's unlimber let's unlimber you guys and if you all fire quick climb ah so this mortar is going to fire round shot 12 pounder 24 pounder they can carry on so I don't have much of an attacking force. So all of my pl my usual plans of having one unit scramble up the side and one unit, you know, taking them head on isn't going to work. Well, it may. It just has. To, it will just have fewer forces committed to it than it would normally have. So maybe only four units. Everyone else with this stupid graphics bug can go through the front, through the front door. So, start, let's get my guns working on a hole. These guys are all just gonna fire a quick climb. Except for these guys, they're obviously gonna fire a round shot. And they are hitting, they are hitting my guns. Even though I thought they were in a rather handy dandy defilade. But here we go. You focus on that unit, you focus on that unit, you focus on that unit. Yes, I didn't realise how weak their garrison would be. So once you've blown a hole in their lines, in their walls, the walls will, these walls will effectively become ungarrisoned. And if we can make a hole then my horse guards can get in and all will be right with the world and we will knock Savoy off of the map. I get my foot artillery's open fire again. I think I'm making a lovely job of this wall. Mortars are hitting this unit. This, is, this graphics bug is so stupid, but I'm pretty sure it is just. It's just this, this map, this weather. To be honest, you probably want to hit them. You've missed. You've got a good hit, that man. Eh, not a super good job. Let's just speed up a bit. Because ultimately we're just watching artillery just pound the hell out of them. They're going to make a nice breach in this wall. And once they do, they're going to make. They're going to punch a hole on this side. They can't decide where they want to be. So you go there. Ah, there we go. Now the quick climb's starting to work. But yeah, so if I can blow a hole in this wall, and then mortars keep dropping shots down onto there. Actually, you may as well have my mortars start dropping shots down on the units guarding the guarding the breach. Oh no, quick lens having a go at them. I should have my mortar having a go at you know what, they're moving, so just just stand still. This is the thing with mortars, they do edge forward. They do like to do that. Right. Enough of this tomfoolery. Well, no, I would like a second breach because these guys can. I think it's surprising how much firepower even NAF units can put out. Nah. Nah, just do it. Let's go this way. Then let's take these guys. Take them up here, where they're still going to be out of range. You still working on the breach? Or what's your shrapnel range like? It, it doesn't reach the center.
You know what, don't even run. Ugh, ugh, trip speed is ugly. Thinking about selling out, but I don't think they're actually going to do it. Get the artillery. No, no, don't stop moving. I want them to snipe the general, but they want to move to do it, even though their own estimation says they should be should be fine. Let's there you go. Let's start the scramble. The Dragoons are coming out, so let's take all this infantry and hit run to bring them up into line. Yep, the firepower's begun. These guys are going to climb the wall. These guys are going to block the door. To be honest, let's get my cuirassiers in, because they could probably blow a hole in this wall anyway. They've got fractional units of... Well, firstly, let's target all of my artillery against somewhere else. Smash straight into them. Curious to see if my cavalry would do the job, and it seems like they probably will. I'll say suspicious. I mean, they're damn cuirassiers. This is what they. This is what they can do really well. Over here. Let's get my grenadiers in. To be honest, let's halt everyone else. Run my cavalry through the middle. Run him through and hit the general. My grenadiers can do the infantry mopping up. Eh, just make everyone climb the walls. Good old cuirassiers. These guys are about to. There you go. Hit that unit of line. There we go. Full on row in every direction. Right, it's a speed up time. Because this ain't going to last very long. Well, you go there, these guys can just sit on it and not not, in, not interfere, just sit there and just 
cause the timer to tick down. One unit there, should be one guy there, then you run on and go get him. You steer up to the general. All my artillery stops. God, this is a bit of a lacklustre ending for Savoy, considering the pain they've been in some of my other campaigns. Nevertheless, I'll take it. Oh god, there come their reinforcements. Just spotted him. Too late, boys. <laughs> it's the end of yours, little game. Heroic victory. Smashing. Yep, yeah, did that skirmish. But here we are. Things have ended up going pretty well. Because that is the end of Savoy. And now oh, they've got somewhere else. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's, an, it's an intriguing proposal. It, damn it, it intrigues me. I think I'm going to fight it just to wear them down. Um, but, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.